Shalom and Bracha. It's an honor for me to be with you, uh, to share some ideas on two topics that I, that I love. One is Yerushalayim, one is Chesed. And uh, I appreciate the fact that each of you is here to study with us this evening. And Bereshut Chem, Bereshut HaKahal HaKadosh, I'd like to share some, some ideas of the special, unique connection between Yerushalayim, between Jerusalem, and uh, the ideas of uh, loving kindness. Uh, according to one Hasidic source, Rabbi Tzadok HaKohen suggests that whenever you want to study any topic, any topic at all, in any realm of, of Jewish thought or Jewish law, anything you're interested in, in Jewish insight, study the first reference to that topic in Tanakh. Start with the beginning of the, of the uh, Torah, start with the beginning of the Bible, and start looking. When will you come across a reference that relates to the subject that you're studying? And he suggests that the way the Torah was written is that we will find special information special insight into the heart of that particular topic if you see the first reference to it in, in Torah. In other words, it's not just happens to be that the first reference is, is about such and such a concept. No, that it was designed in such a way that the first reference opens up the areas of understanding for anyone interested in researching. And so I thought that maybe it's important to study the first reference to Yerushalayim in Tanakh. And I think that the first reference has something to do with Malkit Tzedek. U Malkit Tzedek Melech Shalem Hotsi Lechem Vayayin. This is after the first major battle. After the first major battle recorded maybe in world history, uh, the, the battle of the kings, if you remember the story a little bit, Abraham goes to the battle to try to defend his nephew. And when they come back, they're greeted by the king of a place called Shalem, a place called Salem. And according to our tradition, that's the origin of the name, that Yerushalayim, Yerushalayim, uh, most times, perhaps except for five, hundreds and hundreds of times it's spelled without a yud. It's not, we pronounce it Shalayim, Yerushalayim. But the, the name of the city is Shalem. Later it was Yeru Shalem. And Malkit Sedek Melech Shalem, the king of Jerusalem, Malkit Sedek, the king of, of Salem, all the Salems throughout the United States, tens of places of all the people who are longing to be in Yerushalayim. And I, I guess, you know, maybe not yet there, maybe tomorrow. So they go to, to name certain cities and certain locations after Jerusalem. So every time you go to Salem, you know, a little taste of, a little taste of uh, Malkit Tzedek's place, Malkit Tzedek Melech Shalem. So what's the reference to, to Jerusalem? Malkit Tzedek Melech Shalem, what does he do? What's the first action in Tanakh connected to Jerusalem? Hotzi Lechem Mayayim. He go, he, 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 he's greeting the people who just came back from battle. And when people go to war, should there be any future wars? Ezrat Hashem, but in the past, when there were wars in the world, it's so tiring, it's so troubling. They come back, they come back from Milchama. So they're, in the language of the, uh, of the commentaries, they're ayifin, they're evin, they're tzmeim. You know, they, 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 they were so tired, they were so weary after the battle. And the first reference is that Malkitzede goes out and greets them with food and with drinks. Hotsi lechem v'yayin. And uh, I would like to suggest that that's maybe what Yerushalayim is about. Based on, on, on this, this insight of the first reference to Yerushalayim, maybe Yerushalayim is the place in the world which offers lechem v'yayin to anyone and to everyone, especially to those people coming back from battle. And it seems that everybody that gets to Jerusalem is coming back after a very long battle. <coughs> Some people's battle... You know, it was maybe a, f a few days, a few weeks, a few months, a few years, decades, centuries, millennia. 
But there have been many, many battles, many, many struggles until people get to Yerushalayim. And when they finally get to Yerushalayim, Yerushalayim, which is that city connected to an understanding of the needs of people, Hotzi Lechem Vayayim, all the food and all of the drinks that are necessary to refurbish the uh, tired and struggling nature of all the people of battle, that's what Jerusalem is about. And I think that any time you walk through Yerushalayim until today, Baruch Hashem, so many opportunities for Lechem and Yayin. Just go, just go to the Kota. Go to the, go to the Western Wall on any, any, any given Shabbat. And someone will come over and offer you the possibility of Lechem and Yayin. They'll offer you a Kiddush. You know, they'll offer you a meal. They'll offer you an invitation. There are many, many such people, thank God. In Yerushalayim, may they increase. May they be blessed. And maybe that's the spirit of Yerushalayim. That's the, spirit. the spirit of Yerushalayim is such that they understand that anyone that gets there has to be welcomed properly. And that's why I think the name Yerushalayim has something to do with forging together, with unifying, with bringing together. Ultimately, I think bringing together the whole world. But Jerusalem, the essence of Yerushalayim, Yerushalayim HaBenuya, we learned in Tehillim, Yerushalayim HaBenuya, the, the built city of Jerusalem, is Ke'ir Shechubra La Yahtav, the city that unites, the city that brings everyone together. The essence of Yerushalayim, the heart of Jerusalem, is to solidify, is to unify, is to unite. To bring together and to forge. That's what Yerushalayim is about. That's the essence of Chesed. The essence of Chesed is to reach out to someone else and to feel and to search ways to bring the other person closer to you and to bring yourself closer to the other person. In fact, the suffix in Hebrew, ayim, the, the, the end of that word, ayim, is used in many, many words in Hebrew to indicate some type of dual connection. Some type of pairing. For instance, when you speak about two hands, so everyone knows you speak of yada yim. You speak about two feet, raglayim. When you speak about two eyes, einayim. So what's Yerushalayim? So it could be, according to certain interpretation, maybe the double Jerusalem represents the Yerushalayim shel ma'ala and the Yerushalayim shel mata, the heavenly Jerusalem, the earthly Jerusalem. Maybe Jerusalem is always referred to as a pair because we, we believe in the parallelism between the, the Jerusalem above and the Jerusalem below. But maybe Yerushalayim is not only bringing heaven and earth together, but maybe it's bringing all of Am Yisrael together. Maybe that's why it's the, everyone, anyone that goes to Yerushalayim, from time immemorial till today, there is no city in the world. That we love and we respect your, your city. First time I think in my life. I remember in Pittsburgh, may, may all the residents here be blessed, especially the, the Jewish community here. And we have a tradition that all the, all the synagogues and all the communities are going to be uh, coming to, to Yerushalayim soon. So uh, we'll recognize the, this particular city with its, uh, with its greatness and its great people. You know what Yerushalayim is about? Yerushalayim is the power to pair all of Am Yisrael to pair all of, of the Jewish people into one united being. In the language of the Talmud, et Yisrael zelazet. It unites all of the Jewish people, one with another. I had a student, Hashem should bless her, she's a very, very fine woman, but uh, I'm somewhat embarrassed to tell the story, but I'll tell it anyway. She, she, she's, Top, top student, very, very deeply religious person. Uh, and she came to Israel to study for two years. And one day in, in the middle of class, she made a comment uh, that uh, she hates all of the Haredim. She hates all of the Hasidim. She hates all of the so-called, I don't know how to translate this, 